Okay, bourbon lovers, this scotch just might be for you. And scotch lovers, you should be liking this already. It's the best of both worlds, so let me tell you why. All right, whiskey time, and I got one today that should be able to bridge the gap between bourbon and scotch lovers. We have a single malt, cast strength, Speyside scotch whiskey, the Glenlivet Nadura, matured in Oloroso sherry casks, which you know is going to be sweet, comes in at a whopping 120.4 proof, 60.2% alcohol. This is a sweet bomb. It is so good. Bourbon lovers, this bottle is right up your alley. Scotch lovers, this could get you into bourbons. So let's see how this thing stacks up. All right, welcome back. So the last review, the 1920 uh, Old Forester, I'm gonna put it right there. I was maybe a little overzealous on that with the 19.75, but I was just super excited. I love that bottle. However, I did say in there that the Glenlivet Nadura would bring bourbon lovers over to scotch, and I'm going to stand by that. This thing is really good. It is a cask strength, space side single malt. It is very, very good, but also, Welcome to my channel. I'm dumb. I did say this was like seven to ten years. It's no age statement. So it's at the very minimum three, but I have no idea. So I, I'm sorry. That's just my fault on that. Anyway, very, very good space side. And what I'm going to say is brings these bourbon people over is there's a lot of caramel, like rye spicy notes you get out of like an Elijah Craig, out of the old scout. Maybe not quite as deep sweet notes as the old Forester, but it's still, it's, you're like, wow, that's a space side? Yeah, it is. So let's get into this note, shall we? Okay, so seriously, this nose is not quite like any other space sides you might have. Most space sides are like very floral, some citrusy, little fruit there. Not quite the case with this one. This is, you know, the Olos with Sherry Casks, very sweet, but it's 60%, so it's cask strength, though. It's a very, very robust full nose, so. There is a slight ethanol hit, but underneath, once you get through that, it's very caramelly. Very, very rye spice influence. A lot of raisins. It's really sweet, but there also is some of those like space side floral notes as well. It's a little fragrant. Just a little bit of wheat, nothing crazy. The caramel really hits up front on that, and I might even say probably just some maple syrup. Man, man, oh, is that? Maybe throw like toffee, some chocolate on that. This is a very nice nose. Seriously, bourbon lovers, if you don't think you like scotch, give this guy a shot. It's, you almost can't tell the difference. This is just giving me like a large Craig Old Scout vibes, honestly. So let's see what this thing tastes like. Okay, palate time. Before I do, I just wanted to say that this is coming in at around $100. So that's on sale currently on my store. I, have, I don't know what like the national average might be. I think it might be able to get it for 80, but in my case, it looks like it'd be 100. So that's what we're gonna go with on the value. But get this done our mouth. Very, very hot. That's a hot spice. Actually, a lot of pepper tingles I'm getting right now. And I think right now the alcohol overtakes any of the sweet caramel that I'm going to have right now. But this kind of layers on like that old Forester. It's really thick and syrupy. Didn't talk about the legs as much. I love this color. The legs, they're pretty medium. Almost medium to thick. Um, this is going to be a long finish, I can guarantee you that. There we go. Once you warm up the palate, you're ready to go. I'm going to say more toffee and coffee and maybe even some plums. There's some nice darker fruits mixing in with this sweetness that gives it a nice little like fruit pop almost like you're just slathering some fruit with some just chocolate um it is not quite as overly sweet as the 1920 but i think it's more of a balanced sweetness that that makes sense you get some fruit and some grains with some nice you know coffee chocolate toffee over here and it mixes well into a really nice bouquet
and every sip builds on the last with that layering on the tongue kind of like what i said earlier uh the last review like the not not in a bad way the cough syrupy kind of like syrupy film it just lays down there get it off i'm getting a lot more vanilla now on this it's really fantastic again this is a much different space side than you might be used to getting and that's really good this is awesome just what you can do with cast strength and just a different like maturation barrel like oh those are sherry it's a great great cast to uh material whiskey's in super good this is a good palette all right time to dole out some ratings on the nose this time i think that one more check so it's not quite as almost perfect as the 1920. So I'm going to give the nose right now a four. Reason being, there is a little more bite with the ethanol on the nose. It is like 3% more alcohol than the Old Forester. But the Old Forester did well with the, the sweeter notes to just kind of hide that. And you have to like dive deeper into the nose to get through all the fruit, wheat, weedy kind of like sweetness that this, this definitely does have. Just takes a little longer to get to it. So I think uh, four in the nose for this one. Okay, pal time. One more sip though, just to verify. Super, super good. The wife would not like this. That's okay, because I do, and I think a bunch of you guys would if you can get yourself a bottle. I'm gonna give this palette a, I'm gonna give it a four and a quarter. I think the first sip is almost a letdown, but then every, subsequent sip builds on itself into a very nice bouquet very nice sweet experience it's a hot spicy sweet experience at the same time but i think it's very good and solid so i think four and a quarter is a good score so i think i'm like four sips in and i think the finish is fantastic it's layered it's sweet it's long lasting i still kind of get it's kind of thick i can still kind of get like i'm still getting a little bit of whiskey off my tongue and because of that i'm gonna give the finish a four and a half so not quite, again, um, as uh, excited as I was for 1920, but dang, I just love that bottle. But four and a half, great score. Okay, before I dole out a value rating, I do want to give a little disclaimer. I traded somebody for this bottle. This is going to make the wife very sad. I traded the Kayo 7 for this with us, uh, with somebody. So I didn't pay for this. Just going to let that be like a little disclaimer. However, it being 100 bucks at the store I would normally go to, I'm going to use that number for the value rating. I think 100 bucks is a little, it's a smidge too high. It is still a very good whiskey, so I'm going to give the value a three and a half um, there, just because I think I think 75 would be awesome, but because I would get 100 bucks, then eh, take a little bit off of that. So I think three and a half is still pretty good. Okay, overall score 16.25, very solid. I think this is a very good experience. I think if the price was a little better, it'd be have a much better score. Um, I will say, again, bourbon lovers, try this bottle. You will like it. You can barely tell the difference. It's very sweet. It's very punchy. It's not the normal like 43, 45% you know, single malt scotches you're going to find. It's a 60% bomb. It's a nice sweet punch in the mouth. It'll warm you up. It's just like a bourbon experience. Seriously, I drink all kinds of whiskey. This is very good. Um, I think 60.25, very good score. Um, this is a great space side. I love space sides. Might be one of my favorite space sides right now. And uh, see what the wife says. Okay, it's gonna be a quick wife time. I had her sniff it before I started recording, and it was not a good reaction. So let's just give another sniff for the for the folks out there. To see what the, when the nose does things like that, it's not gonna be a good. So you don't like that? Is it kind of no. like is it too hot? Too too alcoholic for you? There's no sweetness there at all. No, I don't. You don't no find any maple. No. <laughs> well, that's not good. Okay, well, there's, if you can't find maple, it's not good for her. Okay, it's going to be bad. That's fine. One of these days, I'll have like a hunting video for finding her whiskey she would like. But let's just get this out of the way. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just swallow it. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, hey. Not a bourbon lover, so... so Bourbon lovers, don't, you know, don't take that with a grain of salt because this is a very good bottle if you like your bourbons. She still gathering the palate. I'm a bad, bad teacher, bad influence, but 
If you like this video, give this a like. If you want any more whiskey videos, you can always subscribe to the channel. And if you're a gamer, I game Fridays and Saturdays live, 7.30 Eastern. Love to see you. I think we have a good time, and I'll see you next time.